Hey folks, Malthorn here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our adventures in Fabledom. We're going to carry on exactly where we left off last episode. We've just got the bakery. We're just building this down here. Built some more housing, which we do need. We kind of need some more housing. I almost want to start a second set of housing up here. But it does mean we have to rebuild like an inn and the, um, uh, the, uh, the well and probably some other stuff as well so i'm not in a rush to do it but we probably will do that at some point so uh we'll see we'll see but yeah we might do that because we kind of do need some more housing we kind of run out of space here unless we can save up the money well do you know what i'm saying that we'll actually have enough money to buy another zone so we could just do that we could just buy this zone although we did just unlock the iron um where is it? No. Is it this one? No. <laughs> it's one of these. Stone masonry. Oh no, iron quarry. Uh, we haven't unlocked it yet, actually. We need to be a town, which I guess is the next size. A small town. Oh, okay, so we can't actually get the iron quarry for a long time. So how do we build these other buildings that we need iron for? Uh, like this. Isn't this five iron? Oh no, it's stone brick. Oh, this is stone. Oh, I thought this was iron, but it's not. It's stone brick. So yeah, we need to build a stone masonry, which is 200 gold. Oh, we'll we'll build this then. There we go. Well, there we go. We, uh, we figured it out. We'll just get the 200 gold. We'll build the stone mason. Um, where's our stone core? Is here and here? So yeah, I guess we'll build it like opposite the stockpile or something like that. Anyway, we've got a world event. How can we possibly call ourselves the Food Lovers Club when we don't even have bread to accompany our meals? Quite frankly, we find it outrageous. We need bread for our meetings or a village will fall apart. Uh, do we have the resources? I mean, we just built this, so I'm going to say yes. Because we need to get this finished. Uh, where's the laborer's hook? Let's get somebody else working in here, because I think that means there's just nobody kind of free to do the building. Anyway, we've got enough money, so let's get this stone ma oh, yeah, stone masonry built. And we'll just build it right next to this. We'll get the path going a little bit higher. Higher. A little bit further up. <laughs> I suppose that's the same, isn't it? Never mind. There we go. Yeah, why is this not getting built? You can build during winter, can't you? Because this isn't getting built either. Oh, no, it's just getting built now. Oh, maybe... Maybe not. Oh, no, it's still waiting for wood. Yeah, we have loads of wood. In fact, we have crazy amounts of wood. Um... Yeah, maybe we should have had these two in here earlier because I think it's just people aren't moving around quick enough to get materials. Well, we've got 30 days for that quest. I think we'll do it. We just need 20 stone, which I think is happening here. Oh, we've got some more visitors. Nice. It's up to 44 out of 45. Yeah, we need 10 more stone, which I guess is getting brought from here. And then it'll get built pretty quick. So I think we will hit this. It's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, produce 10 bread in 26 days. So... Yeah, we'll save these unemployed to work in the bakery. We can't get any more uh, wheat because we really want to get that 100 wheat for, for Agnes. This is almost finished, though. And it's really close. There it is. Let's get a worker in there straight away. It's going to make all these people even happier. And then, uh, yeah. We can get this bread going. We've got 24 days. We'll make 10 bread in 24 days. That's that's not going to be an issue. Let's get these people working. Oh, no, no, not in here. I literally just said not in here. <laughs> no, what do I do? I just go in there and press it as soon as I see it. I'm just like, yeah, just throw them in there. It's exactly what I want to do. Uh, let's get one more work in the stockpile because that does mean stuff will get moved around again. A little bit. Yeah, stores and just resources. Yeah, this is moving them around into other areas. So that probably would have sped up the bakery and things like that. Oh, you can actually see them making the bread in the background. <laughs> Hammering away the bread and then putting it in, in the uh, in the kiln or in the oven here. 
Nice. Oh yeah, we've got the stone masonry. Yeah, we need somebody to go work in there. So I guess we'll add one in here. Because then I guess this turns normal stone, yeah, two uncut stone into a stone brick. Awesome. So we can start stockpiling this up. And there's obviously this stockpile right next to it. So we'll go just, just here. I guess some of these workers will move some stone up into here. So this will start working. Got 53 grain. Starving? That can't be good, right? Wait, what? Oh yeah, we got no food. Um Okay. Yeah, we need to um Yeah, we need to get this bakery going. Because yeah, we used all our vegetables. I mean we got all the way through to spring, so just about was right. But exceedingly close. <laughs> we we do not want to get this any closer. Um Yeah, that's um a lot closer than I thought it would get. Uh, anyway, yeah, bread is now being produced, so it's it's quite slow though, isn't it? There we go. We got one bread, and I guess it got immediately eaten. Cause <laughs> it isn't here, and it isn't in storage. There we go. We got one in storage. Oh, we already made the ten bread. Let's claim this. Eighty-eight grain. We are close to getting. Oh, it's getting used up. I, do you know what? Can they eat grain? Can we see? Oh, it doesn't say. I'm guessing they can. Although, I guess, again, it might just be that they're in, in, in movement, get moved from being in stockpile here into our actual stockpile. Yeah, the stockpile's actually full. Um, We could just build another stockpile right next to it, I suppose. Or do we want one further away? Again, we don't really have anywhere where it makes sense to. I mean, we could have it here, but it looks a bit weird, especially right next to our hero building. I know it doesn't really make any difference, but I don't know. To me, it does. <laughs> to me, it seems weird having it right next to our hero building, but we don't really have anywhere else, so I'm going to have to put it here. It's not fantastic, but it's going to have to do, because this one's quite close, but... This one's just getting absolutely uh, filled. I mean, I suppose we could move the stone into here, like ban stone from being stockpiled here. And then it will... Oh, wait, I never built this one. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. I never actually built the second one. Um. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure someone might have said in the comments, Malforian, you never actually pressed build. And uh, yeah, you'd be correct. I didn't. But... On a happier note, we can court Agnes now. Oh, it automatically completes? Oh, you don't even have to send them? There you go, she loves us, I think. <laughs> oh no, we're on our first date. Okay, second date, third date, true love. Okay, there's like progression and everything. Oh well, there you go. Well, interesting. Um, anyway, yeah, no, it's actually been delivered. 11 days. All this got finished. Fantastic. We actually have some extra storage for our stuff. So that's going to sort all that out. The bakery is... Yeah, it doesn't make much bread. Resource 50 hunger. Okay, so how much does... Yeah, so grain, 10 hunger. Yeah, no, so you can't eat grain. It doesn't say you can eat grain. So that's... Yeah, that's just in my imagination. So yeah, you can eat vegetables, you can eat bread. I mean, like I say, we kind of need another farm. I mean, we could, in theory, just convert one of these into a vegetable farm. But at the same time, bread resource 50 hunger, vegetables 10. So you need, what, like five less bread for every vegetable? Uh, we're going to have to just dismiss these because we don't have enough money to build any more housing. And like I say, we really don't have the space. I kind of want to get the 200 gold again so we can buy like this gap here. And then we're going to get the stone quarry in here later on. And although this one gives us the pigs, which will be another source of food. No, let's buy this one. Because we get the pigs then. And we've got some higher up land, which would be pretty cool to have. Got an abandoned graveyard. I'm guessing we can't send him out of our realm. Yeah, unreachable. 
Yeah, this doesn't have any special buildings in it, which is kind of annoying. It'd be kind of cool if there was one. There is one here, but I don't think it's worth getting just for that. Oh, this one has pigs in it. And water, like a lake or a river. Ah, maybe we just buy this one. I know it makes our realm, like, quite long. <laughs> kind of just a straight one. But... Can we see the radius on this? It overlaps a little bit over here. The bakery a little, because we could build another set of housing here then. And then the pig farm here. We'll see. We'll see when we have the money. Oh, the Curse of the Wicked Witch. Young love, how wonderfully naive. Why should you get to experience happiness when I could not? I tire of seeing your passion and optimism. Let's see how your fablings deal with a little surprise. The witch has turned all your fablings into skeletons. Whilst the effect remains, fabling hunger is doubled. Lasts for 10 days. Okay. I mean, that isn't... I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. Look at them. They're going around as skeletons. They actually look like aliens. <laughs> like alien skeletons. But, uh, okay. Well, we were just complaining we didn't have enough food. And, um... Now that's worse. So, anyway... We got a letter from Agnes. I think she liked our initial uh, gift. Thank you for your wonderful gift. It is. It takes a caring prince to nurture such a wonderful produce. I admire that. Continue. Okay. Claim. Our first date with Agnes. We've got to build a flower farm, plant 40 tulip crops, and gift 100 tulips. Agnes. Agnes, what are you doing to us? Oh, it's a different kind of farm as well. A hundred. All right. Well, let's do it. I guess we'll build it opposite this one. And let's get some. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Um, Joe, we don't need it to be massive, do we? Although, Joe, you know I suppose we might as well max it out. It's annoying these rocks are in the way. Sure, let's do it like this, and then when we get rid of these rocks, we'll expand it. It's fine. Oh no, it's way too much money. So let's not do that. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. How do you delete these? Oh, you can't? That's kind of annoying. Is that enough? 215? Edit mode. <laughs> How is it so much? How is it so much? Oh, let's just get rid of this. Let's just start again. Right. Place it here. So we've got... Sure, that's all we can build for now. I, I mean, we can get it built. And then we can just expand the, the field later on. So at least this gets it built and it's starting to produce it. So, yeah. This is fine. Sure, whilst we're uh, whilst we're here, can we not go any further? Why can we not go here? Oh, because we don't have any money. <laughs> I guess it yeah it stops because we just don't have enough money, so it, it doesn't even show us any further. Okay, I kind of wanted to finish this road going round, but yeah, if it costs money, we might as well not build it just yet. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to dismiss you again because we don't have enough money. Yeah, we need to get some more housing again. What else have we got that's new? Oh, new tick. Uh, I guess down here. That one we unlocked, I guess. Wasn't it this? Yeah, I think it was. Anyway, we got some money. We've got the flower farm going. Do we have anyone free to work in it? We do not. Well, let's get rid of one. <laughs> they all look like skeletons. Uh, anyway, let's put them in here. We will start working on this, I suppose. So. It's fine. It'll just take a little bit of time. Longer than we would have thought initially. I mean, we're in the middle of summer and we basically have no food. Yeah. Not, not ideal. This bakery is so slow. I mean, it's basically one day for one loaf, I think, almost. Yeah, 
Yes, she's having to go up here to get to get um, wheat. I don't know why it isn't stockpiling wheat up here. Oh no, it did. Okay, I guess she just brought a bunch of wheat at a time and then it's going. Still, we could almost do with having two bakeries. To make us some more uh, some more dough, literally. Um, <laughs> that's a bad joke, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, do you know what? How much stone have we got? 31 stone, that's fine. We've got 10 brick. Oh, we can actually build another house, so let's do that. Another homestead. Oh, yeah, we can't build one. Well, actually, we've run out of space here. Mm -hmm. I really want to buy this expansion first. I think we will do this one, and then we can just have all the housing here. I think if we kind of split it over here, we've got to build so much other stuff as well to make them happy, whereas at least here, you can get a row on the back of here with without building anything, and that will give us another, what, one, two, three, uh, four, maybe, buildings before we have to build anything else. So, yeah, we're going to have to say no to you. We're going to have to just stockpile. Uh, yeah, the upkeep's getting quite a bit now as well. 89 upkeep. I mean, I suppose we could expand this. Uh, yeah, attachments. There we go. This is going to get this working a little bit uh, quicker. I know it's going to mean we've got less money again, but it's kind of fine, I guess. Oh, we paid off. Well, we didn't pay off, but we got through that debuff. So I guess we will actually start stockpiling some food now. I'm not using double the food that we should be. Do I just move you uh, here? <laughs> Been walking around. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he doesn't just like walk the pathways of your realm or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. It might come in the future, I suppose, but yeah, it'd be kind of cool if he just like, kind of aimlessly wandered around, or you could kind of tell him to go on a route. I don't think you can. No. That would be cool. If he did like a, a random route, or you could tell him to patrol a certain route, I think that'd be cool. Um, sure, let's put him outside the inn. <laughs> you can guard the inn for us. There we go. 31 coins, so we've got 70. How much was this? 200, wasn't it? Yeah, pig herd, abandoned graveyard. Oh, this one's got the Bob Bark skin. Oh, yeah, it has the guy in it. The, uh, the Ent. Sure, you know maybe we should buy this one, just so we can see what this does. Because the inn will cover the like another three houses here. The baker will cover a bunch of them. I think we have a well. Actually, no, we'd have to build another well. Yeah, like over here somewhere. Oh, but we don't get the pigs. We kind of want the pigs, don't we, for food. Actually, can we even build it? Didn't think about that. We need to be a town and a pig herd. I think we are a town, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not, we're not even a town, so we can't even build them anyway. Okay, well, in that case, we will buy this one here, because then we can get the stone quarry going once we unlock that. Oh, no, we already have... Wait, oh, this is just a large one? Oh, I thought these ones did it, but no. Oh, so yes, this is just a larger version of one of these. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. This is an iron deposit. This isn't stone. So ignore me, <laughs> as usual. I'm talking like a crazy person. Uh, this is actually iron on the floor over here. So once we unlock the iron quarry, we can just place it immediately here. Okay, well, that's fine then. Pesky fairies. Farmers have reported issues with swarms of red-winged fairies spreading in their crops. They worry that if they do not address the issue, we risk losing some valuable food, or we can't afford that. I don't really want to pay 80 gold, though. Ignore the problem. Each crop has a 50% chance to die. Each crop. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, it was a lot. It was a lot. Wow. Okay. Probably shouldn't have rolled the dice. Probably should have just uh, taken the uh, the 80 gold deduction, I suppose. But again, 80 gold. I really need to start building some of these additional uh, items here. So there's not a lot we can really do. Stone quarry, stone camp. Yeah, so what's the difference then? This is twice as expensive. 
Stone is gathered from the attached stone deposit. Once depleted, the structure loses its functionality. I guess it's just quicker. Yeah, I guess it just does it quicker than the other one. Although, is this a small and this is a large? Okay, no, I'm right. I was right kind of originally. Okay, this is for small ones and only does small ones, whereas the quarry is for these big ones. Yeah, okay. There we go. We figured it out like third or fourth time lucky. Um, but yeah, we're going to save up the 200 gold and then we're going to buy... Uh, well, we can't do this yet, so we'll buy this one and then we can see what Bob Barkskin oh, does. Bob Barkskin. Yeah, I remember when he was just a seedling. Maybe he'll give us something cool. And then we've got this additional stone. We can build a housing out here. We'll probably build another farm here to get some more pumpkins or something growing, get some more vegetables. And then when we have enough money next time, we can buy this one. It's like, yeah, we can't increase the population much anyway. It's another 15 before we even get to small town. And then I guess it's going to be like another 20 to get to a town. So we're not anywhere close to unlocking these anyway. So I think this is fine. Anyway, how many tulips have we made? 23. Well, no, that's how many we've planted. <laughs> we haven't even, uh, you know, stockpiled 100, which is what we need. And our food situation is really bad. Yeah, we might have some very hungry people this time around. But at least the bakery's going. Oh, that's cool. You can actually decide where they come here from. Depending if they live far away. I guess that makes sense. You could, like, you know, I only want people close to this so they're not traveling as far before and after, um, you know, going to sleep, I guess. I guess they go to the house and go to sleep and things like that. So this is quite cool being able to limit it as to where they can, uh, where they can be from. There we go, six more gold, and we can buy this. And then, like I say, we can send our hero basically immediately to Bob. <laughs> to old Bob down here, and we'll see what he has to say for himself. And then we got, there we go, we got 25 tulips. Wait, how do we only plant 23 crops, but we have 25 tulips? Does each crop give you more than one? I guess maybe each block is one crop. It gives you more than one thing. Maybe it gives us four for each one. Who knows? I mean, this looks better for us because um, we're going to get to the 100 quicker, I guess. Although it says t we have 25 here, but it says... Oh, no, no you, you've got to gift them in one go. Yeah, ignore me. You've got to gift these in one go, so... That's fine. There we go, we've got the money, so let's uh, let's buy this. Let's go see what Bob Barkskin has to say for himself. And then, yeah, when we have more money, we can increase this housing. So come on, let's go see, uh, let's go see Bob, see what he has to say. Maybe he'll give us something cool. Maybe we just chop him down. We have just a crazy amount of wood, which you already have. Almost tempted to lower the amount of people that are working because we've got nearly like 500 wood. I think we'll lower these by two. And then we'll get them... Yeah, one work in this labor hut. And then... Yeah, sort by not fully employed. Oh, wait. <laughs> we didn't put anyone to work in those stockpiles, did we? And by we, I mean me. I, I didn't do that, which is a mistake because, um, yeah, they won't they won't do anything if we don't put anyone in there. Uh, yeah, these farms we can't really afford to lower. Um, we don't have anyone else free, though, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, stone masonry is one out of one. We could lower these stone, I guess, because we don't really need it for anything at the moment. Do you know what? No, it's fine. Uh, we, we don't really need additional storage that much. Uh, we'll just use one of them for now. Uh, greetings, young seedling. It's been quite a while since I had a visitor. My name is Bob. 
Apart from the grow, apart from growing a glorious mustache, mostly keep these great forests. Trees affected by a forest need six days less to grow. Oh, that's pretty cool. So our forest, our like trees regrow faster over here. That's cool. We can just chop him down. <laughs> oh dear, we can just chop him down. Be like, yeah, whatever, Bob. You're dead. Now give us a trinket. Joe, you know well, let's just befriend him. So we have a buff. Bob's friends. Thanks, Bob. Can we, like, send him back and kill him later on? I guess not, because it says unreachable now. But there we go. Yes, yeah, so our, our trees regrow faster, which is pretty cool. It means we need less of these in the future, because they can replenish the trees quicker. Um, but yeah, I guess we need to... Um, well, actually, we haven't got the money, have we? Get some housing going. We kind of do need the housing though, because that allows us to then get more people, which means we get more money, which means we can then get building other things as well. So kind of that like uh, balancing act, I guess, of trying to figure out where best to spend your money. But um, I think this is probably the best way to go. Fifth, is that enough? Oh yeah, they're 25. Oh no, plus the additional uh, items as well. That's not what I wanted to do. Why can I not build this way? Cannot place area in front of homestead. Oh, is it the wrong way around? <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough money. <laughs> We're four short. Ah, oh, dear. Next payment's in five days. When's the next people getting here? Three days. Destroy. I mean, I guess we'll just build it with... Entrance is blocked? Oh, is that the entrance? I guess it is. I guess we'll just build a smaller one. Does it mean less people can live there? I don't think it does. I think it just means there's only one additional building instead of the others, but we can expand it later on, so it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, we can build another two foundations. Oh no, it says we have two out of two. Oh, do you know what? I don't know what the difference is then. Yeah, this can hold three. We'll see what this says once it's finished. Maybe it's also three out of three and we don't need to always build them this big. I do like them though, like a little bit bigger. It gives a bit more space, but yeah, it's still got a clothing line and a chicken coop. So, I mean, I guess if we can fit them in four, why have them six? Anyway, we're going to have to dismiss these... No. No, I don't, do we? We can wait. No. Because once this is finished, we can invite these. There we go. Nice. Some extra people to work. That means we can have another person in one of these stockpiles. There's nobody working in it. This one. There we go. It's got people working in all our stockpiles. I, I wonder if that was holding things up. Because the stockpile was full, so I guess things might have been just stockpiling up in buildings. And that might have been slowing down them moving around other places, I suppose. Potentially. 39 bread, 64 vegetables. It's going to be winter. We are going to have some starving people this year, for sure. This tulip isn't... This tulip farm isn't quick, is it? It's very slow. A pretty but fairly useless flower. Uh, could we not see the... Uh, oh yes, oh, and it's all gone. <laughs> so, what a waste. Well, there we go, guys. There we go. What a waste. <laughs> that was full of tulips. And the thing is, we can't even increase how many people work there. I think it's only one... Oh no, we could have put an extra person in there. Ah... Probably should have done that. Okay, let's get this new come and we'll put them to work in the flower farm. And then next spring, we can just get these um, tulips growing and uh, get this figured out. There we go. We've got Margaret and Mabel working in the flower farm. Now, once it gets back around to spring, we are going to be very... Well, 39 days of food remaining. I mean, that does mean we should have enough, although in spring... We won't have that kind of, uh, you know, we're not going to get food in 
quick enough in spring, I don't think. But we'll have enough food to get us through the winter. Although I suppose we're still making bread. So that will kind of help. This is going to still grow during... It will keep growing even during the winter, whereas obviously vegetables are just done now until spring. Whereas, like I say, bread, we can stockpile this and keep making it. I mean, we haven't got much grain, though. Oh, no, you know what, what am I talking about? I'm just saying we don't have much grain. We have 400 grain. We have a ludicrous amount of grain. Um, we almost, yeah, should build another... Another windmill and another bakery. So that we can make use of this. How much is another windmill? Yeah, because I've only got eight flour. At least we should build another windmill. It's 50. I'm going to build one. We'll put it here next to uh, the farms. Because then it can come immediately to this place. Yeah, because then at least we're double producing flour. Because we've only got eight flour, so the bakery isn't, like, getting inundated with flour. Maybe having two windmills and one bakery is the right way to go. If not, we can just build another bakery then when we have enough money, so... It's all good. Good job we spotted that, though, because that means next year we're going to have way more bread. So it's going to work out pretty well for us, I think. But anyway, at this point, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, we, we progressed somewhat in this episode. I kind of wanted this tulip thing to be done as well, but I suppose next episode we might almost get this finished. And then we'll see what our next quest is to do. And then, like I said, we kind of want to build up some gold and then we want to... Uh, buy one another one of these zones. I think we will buy this one, just because it does have the pigs there for later on when we can get them. But um, we really just need more space for housing, so I think this makes sense. I mean, we mm, we could do it here, but the thing is, there isn't actually that much space here. Although it doesn't really matter. We could put the pig farm here, and then just have this whole block here for housing, and then we can have like um, you know industry around it. So maybe we'll do that. I'll think about it before the next episode. But anyway, as I said, we're going to be finished there for today. If you've enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. It helps other people find this channel and the series in the future. And if you're new here, I play Grand Strategy, Historical Titles, City Builders. I do news, uh, guide, discussion videos, all that good stuff. So if that's your kind of thing, hit subscribe. But we'll leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.